Hey guys, it's Danny. Now today I'm showing you the easiest way to bake a sweet potato, plus three simple, insanely delicious ways to eat them. Now oftentimes on the weekend when I'm doing my meal prep, I will make some sweet potatoes, and this is exactly what I do. I preheat my oven to 375. Then I'll grab a couple sweet potatoes and give them a good rinse under some cold water. Pat them dry with a towel, then I will take a paring knife and just make a few slits in the potato. I usually do about four or five slits. You wanna do this because what that does is it allows the steam to escape from the potato when it's cooking and you do not run the risk of your potato exploding in the oven. Then I place them onto a rimmed baking sheet that I have lined with a Silpat mat. You could also do a little bit of foil here and pop them into the oven for 45 to 60 minutes. Now, my potatoes are pretty big today, so I'm gonna let them go for the full 60 minutes. Once they are done, you'll know because you'll notice some of the sugars oozing out from those holes we made and they will be tender all the way through. Now you can, of course, eat your potatoes fresh out of the oven just like this or if you're making them as a head start ingredient, let them cool completely, then transfer them into an airtight container and store them in the fridge for up to five days. Now, the beauty of a sweet potato is that you could take it from a side dish to a main dish in absolutely no time at all. So I am gonna share with you three of my favorite clean and delicious ways to make a main meal out of your sweet potato in under five minutes. And if you guys like a recipe that comes together in under five minutes, give me a thumbs up. Number one is the black bean and avocado sweet potato. In a small bowl, combine a half a cup of black beans, one tablespoon of fresh lime juice, and half of a diced up avocado. Gently stir that all together and spoon it on top of a warm sweet potato and enjoy. Simple, nutritious, delicious. Next up, I've got a scrambled egg and cheese sweet potato. Start by making one or two scrambled eggs. And if you guys need a reminder on how to make amazing scrambled eggs, be sure to check out that video right over there. Then you're going to take a warm sweet potato and top it with two tablespoons of your favorite shredded cheese. Then place your egg on top of the cheese. Now the heat from the sweet potato and the egg is going to melt the cheese and you are gonna end up with a beautiful and delicious scrambled egg and cheese sweet potato. And finally, a sweeter option, a yogurt and walnut topped sweet potato. Now for this potato, I like to either have a room temperature sweet potato or a chilled sweet potato right out of the fridge. Top your sweet potato with a half a cup of plain Greek yogurt, one tablespoon of chopped up walnuts, a tablespoon of chopped up dried cranberries or cherries, and a sprinkle of cinnamon. This one is great for breakfast or for anybody who's trying to curb a sweet tooth. So here's what I want you to do. Let me know which of these three recipes you're gonna try first down in the comments below. And don't forget to snap a picture and tag me on Instagram or Facebook using the hashtag clean and delicious and or Danny Speeds. If you wanna print these recipes, head on over to cleananddelicious.com. And while you're there, be sure to sign up for my newsletter because I'm gonna be sending out a clean and delicious Thanksgiving menu only to the people on that list. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'm Danny Spees and I will see you next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Hey guys, it's Danny. Now today I'm showing you, hey guys, it's Danny. Now today I'm showing you three, from the top. It's like my back has to pop or something. Okay, ready? Hey guys, it's Danny.